Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriya Kal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to do Tulsi Gubbard Torches Kamala Harris on Criminal Justice Reform. So this is from when Tulsi was running for um, 2020 presidential as a presidential candidate. And Kamala Harris was also running against Biden as a presidential candidate. But now she is the vice, going to be the vice president yeah. if they get nominated. And, you know, there's some question. She has been bringing up, you know, happy Independence Day to India and then talks about her heritage and, you know, her mom and her grandma and visiting, um, you know. But... Is this just for political votes? Is it just for the votes? Because if she's done nothing in the past, she hasn't spoke up against any Pawama attack or anything like that. So we, can we reference that to the future? What the difference is in the future? Right. Like, if she's not saying anything when you want her to for India, in support of India, but yet when it's time for votes is bringing up how her mother used to make Italy. Um, you know, she's definitely taking India's um, emotional side for a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Because what we've seen from her in the past, you know, and, and we haven't seen any of her speeches as of yet right now, but what we've seen in the past is that she was against Article 370. She felt like India was a bully against Kashmir, you know, she was against the CAA bill, um, you know, spoke up nothing when the Paloma attack happened, spoke up nothing at the border with China when 20 soldiers were martyred. You know, when you want her to speak up, um, she's not. And then when she does, unless you agree with those policies like if you are against article the removal of article 370 if you are against the caa bill then or not speaking up against these things or then. not speaking out when when terrorist attacks happen in india if you're okay with that then her and biden are your candidates you know, it shouldn't be that she's from India. It shouldn't be that her dad's Jamaican. It shouldn't be that she's a woman. It shouldn't be that Joe Biden's a man. It should be the policies that they are going to put into place and the policies that you've seen in the past that they've done. Yeah. Um, not saying you have to go back, you know, until they're 10, but you have to understand where they're coming from. We have not heard about Kamala Harris's um, Indian heritage until recently. And, you know, now she's telling stories of her mom, how she came here from India, how her grandma and, you know, you, we never heard about this before, no. not even when she was running. But now that it's time for vote bank, 5% of Indian Americans here in the United States can vote for or against her. Her Indian heritage has magically appeared. And so this is, Tulsi was our candidate. Like, if yeah. anybody was running, um, we voted for her and we supported her and we've seen many of her speeches. And honestly, to say right now, she is more Indian than Kamala Harris is by blood. It doesn't matter by blood. It's what's in your heart that matters. Yeah. And if you love and care for India and support it when the time comes, that's what matters. You know, when when the time is there, that's when you need the support. You don't need to know about, you know, her Ital eating Italy or not eating Italy. That doesn't make you more Indian. No. So we're going to start this up and see um, how Tulsi um, torch torches Kamala. Congresswoman Gabbard, you took issue with Senator Harris confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate. You called it a quote false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but 
She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. As the elected Attorney General of California, I did the work of significantly reforming the criminal justice system of a state of 40 million people, which became a national model for the work that needs to be done. And I am proud of that work. And I am proud of making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative body and give speeches on the floor, but actually doing the work of being in the position to use the power that I had to reform a system that is badly in need of reform. That is why we created initiatives that were about re-entering former offenders and getting them counseling. It Thank is you. why, and because I know that criminal justice Thank system you, is Senator. so broken, that I am an advocate for what Thank we you, need Senator. to do to not your, only your decriminalize, but legalize marijuana in the United States. I want to, I want to bring uh, Congresswoman uh, Gabbard back in your response. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And worse yet, in the case of those who were on death row, innocent people, you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so. There is no excuse for that. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe yeah, them an apology. That's why we would have voted for Tulsi. Like we said, we would have, and we did, totally vote for Tulsi Gabbard. I yeah. wish she had been the presidential candidate. I feel like she would have been the one person that had s some democratic views, but also is very patriotic and nationalistic. And her policies, I feel like, favor more the Republican side. And that may have been what got her out of the game, you know, because her speeches she crushed people on that floor but i don't know not enough people voted for her um, yeah which is sad because we wanted tulsi as the next president of the united states yeah. but she crushed camilla in this this whole thing this is like a two-minute clip of it but she really um went after her left and right and um and sometimes Kamala didn't have answers for nope. the things, or she brushed it off and tried to answer something else um, in this. It's interesting. Like we said, like you really have to go back and see what did she do in the past? How, how are her policies, what she did before, are they gonna be the same as she gonna do in the future? You know, like we said, she was against Article 370. Um, she talked about supporting um, the Kashmiris and knowing that they have support because um, India is basically a bully. You know, is that the kind of person you want running for the presidency, for the vice presidency, even though she says she's Indian? No, that's not what she said on Indians Republic Day. She said she's from Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And you can totally tell that's for the votes because where are you supporting? Which part of Southeast Asia are you supporting? If it comes to a part where there's going to be a war with Pakistan and China and India, which part is she going to support? Which part of Southeast Asia are you supporting? In that? Yeah, yeah and exactly. What has she supported back um, in the past? What has she supported there from Southeast Asia. She hasn't supported India. She hasn't even said anything about it. So what's the difference going to be in the future? Yeah. On India's Independence Day, she couldn't say she was from India. Yeah. Because it's about votes. Yeah. She said she is from Southeast Asia. Yeah. 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 It, like you said, when the soldiers were attacked on the border, um, and 20 of them were martyred from the Indian side, um, you know, or the Pawama attack, you know, by terrorists that we know came straight out of Pakistan, 2611, Kashmiri pundits, I could go on and on. Um, nobody speaks out against these things. No. But when 
Imran Khan gets on his pedestal and talks about Kashmir, and people start saying Article 370 is against the Kashmiris and India is a bully. You know, think, think before you check those boxes. You know, if her policies align with how you feel about India, be my guest. But like the Democrats try to do, try to be colorblind, race blind, religion blind, everybody, no matter sex, nationality, race, you don't want to offend anybody. Everybody should be equal. It's funny that they're pulling out these cards when it's time to vote. Yeah. Because the only reason she says she's from Southeast Asia is to get those 5% of Indian votes, but to also get the Chinese votes, but to also get the Pakistan votes. So she gets all these votes. She doesn't want just the Indian votes. She's not saying that because she loves India. Yeah. So a little food for thought. And let us know in the comments what you guys think about Kamala Harris. And um, yeah. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.